look at this gorgeous star decoration that arrived yesterday all the way from Australia from my lovely lovely friend Angie it's so cute I love it somebody is in my spot aren't you <laughs> you think you're going to steal mummy's spot or did you fancy or did you fancy doing the chatting today? Huh? Are you going to stay there? You can if you're going to be good. Right, we need to get on. Look. Look, our friends are waiting for us. Oh, sorry, I've confused her now. She thinks someone's coming. Oh, I'm sorry, Boo. What are you doing, Bubba? Would you mind removing your bottom from my head? What are you doing? But it's not comfy for either of us. Is it? It's not comfy. Good morning. Happy 12th of December. Gosh, I can't believe yesterday is two weeks until Christmas. So today is less than two weeks before Christmas. Oh. I've decided today needs to be my wrapping day because I haven't started yet. I've bought everything, I think. So I thought if I do my wrapping today, then I will definitely know that I've bought everything. So that's my plan. I also really, really want to make a couple of presents, but that might be tomorrow. But I was thinking we haven't had a chat for a few days and I have things stacking up that I want to tell you. I thought I'd sneak the Christmas tree in this morning. And yeah, I have some things to show you. If you'd have watched yesterday's vlog, you'd have heard me say I have been recording but I didn't press record so I did lots of chatting got my little pal here did lots of chatting but it wasn't recording so I realized the part that I missed was the most important part wasn't it boo it was to say what we were doing and I had a couple of comments on my vlog yesterday saying what were you painting on that fabric <laughs> Well, we were making beeswax, beeswax wraps. Oh, that's tricky. I'll show you in more detail in a second. They're not for you to lick. Um, so that's what we were painting on the fabric. We were painting a mixture of beeswax, jojoba oil, and a drop or two of tea tree oil. Um, it's not my recipe. It's Christine, who is Chrissy Crafts. It's her recipe or recipe she found online, I think. So I don't know the exact amounts because she mixed it all up for us. Um, but there are loads and loads of tutorials online. I did a little tutorial in one of my July vlogs, I believe, but it or it may have been last Vlogmas. Yes, I think it was last Vlogmas. I have no idea which, which one, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you want to Google, these wax wraps there are loads and loads of tutorials um, we didn't use pine resin because some of the recipes call for pine resin but when I've used it before I found it quite smelly so we used a mixture of beeswax a jojoba oil and a drop or two of tea tree oil just to make them antibacterial and antifungal and all that business and um, we used the oven method which was really fun so we painted the wax on popped it in the oven for two minutes turned it took it out turned it over checked that it was fully saturated and added more if necessary and then popped it back in the oven for another minute or so and then hung them to dry and they are lovely i've done a few round ones and they're really lovely and pliable some of these are going to be for gifts, but I haven't decided which yet. A lovely one with apples. Then I made, this is quite a big one. Really pretty fabric. Look at this beautiful one. Next year, I really hope to improve upon my treading gently upon the earth philosophy. Because gosh we all need to do our bit don't we it's scary what's happening to our beautiful planet and this is my last one well, this is pretty 
so pretty and so useful so that's the perfect thing um so that was what we were doing yesterday i'm sorry i confused you all so later on it's voting day here in the uk so i shall be going down i think george and i go down together to vote our country is in such turmoil at the moment i just hope whatever comes from this vote that things can settle down and decide one way or another because this turmoil is this is so bad anyway we will skip over that because it's not the happiest thing in the world is it what is the happiest thing in the world is i think mabel needs a christmas hat <laughs> this is so adorable I wasn't at all looking for doggy Christmas hats on Ravelry. I was looking for something else, which led me to this Lucky Fox Knits. And she has loads and loads and loads of hats. Most of her hats are actually designed for mini dash hounds. I think that's how you say them. <laughs> Look at this little one. So adorable. But Mabel, although she's a more of a medium sized doggy, she has a teeny tiny little head, like a little pin head. So I think that might fit her as is, but if not, I can do some tweaks. Let's see if there's any other photos. It's so cute. Oh yes, I can show you this. adorable so I'm gonna have a go at making her a little Christmas hat and I have some happy news panda has limbs oh you're so happy faith aren't you you needed those legs and arms didn't you now I did make a mistake which you may be able to see I forgot to stuff her arms so they're really skinny I stuffed the hand well, I forgot to, to stuff the first arm and then I thought, when I did the second one, I thought, well, I can't really be bothered to unpick the first one and stuff it, so I'll just make the second one the same. So she has two quite robust legs and two very, very skinny arms, but I think she looks quite cute. And she's going to have her lovely hooded jacket on, so I think she'll be quite happy. So the jacket is going to be in this, which is Drops Flora. I don't think it says a colour. No. Oh, colour 17. And she will look like this when she's finished. So I think the coat will hopefully hide her little skinny arms. This is just black and this is kind of a natural colour which is very sweet we love her and she's very podgy so that's that I also have finished a couple more oh, let me come forward I feel so far back a couple more wondrous dishcloths but these are wondrous face cloths now you may remember me talking about doing some peach gift sets. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm just running out of time. I may get one or two done, but there's so many things to do at this time of year, isn't there? I think I'll plan to get at least one done. I've made some candles, some peach candles. I've got some peach sweets. I've got one peach washcloth. I've got peach soap. Was that everything? Oh, I was going to put it in one of my rope bowls, which would be a little peach accents. I may get one set done, I think. It would be nice to do one, actually, wouldn't it? I've come this far. Yes, I'm going to try and get at least one done. But um, <laughs> you love this pattern. I am so chuffed that you love it as much as I do. It is by far my most popular pattern, which makes me giggle really because it is just a dishcloth or a washcloth but 
there's something about them that just makes you so happy and they're really lovely to make because they just look really perfect when they're knit and I love the back as much as the front because it, it looks quilted isn't that nice and they're nice and thick because they're double sided oh you've heard me go on about these enough so I'll stop but I really love them I must show you my little dish of dishcloths I keep by my sink. So I keep them on my plate rack near the sink and I just, I love them so much. Um, also in my basket, I had ordered this gorgeous little thing, I don't know, quite a few weeks ago. And I put it away ready for Christmas and then I forgot about it, but look. And this is made by my lovely friend Lisa who owns the fernery and she makes the most beautiful things really detailed oh, perfection and she's so lovely i've also got a gorgeous little rainbow brooch as well oh, which i love she honestly she makes the loveliest things so go check her out i know she's very busy with orders but her she's got a beautiful website it's just everything she does is just magical so my little swan needs to go on my tree and I'll do that after I finish chatting. Right, I need to go get my coffee, which I popped over there. It's so nice to actually sit down and have a chat with you. I feel that I haven't done that very much this vlogmas. Do you know, it's absolutely pouring with rain at the moment. I can hear it on my Velux in the kitchen and it's so cosy. So cosy inside. But look at this mug. How beautiful is that? It's from my um, advent calendar from the Stitchery, who is Nikki Franklin Needlecraft. And her advent calendar, it's a bit different for me. It's mostly embroidery and related items, and it's so beautiful. I can't wait to start doing some stitching. I may start before Christmas, but we'll see. I don't want to make too many plans because I feel like the time is going really fast and there's lots of things that have to be done this time of year. And I don't want to put pressure on myself because when I craft, I want to really enjoy it and not do it because I want to fit it in. Coffee tastes even nicer in this. It's so adorable, isn't it? You can see it's got kind of a wobble where the handle meets. It's so lovely. Okay, what else did I want to talk to you about? I'm going to consult my list. Oh, I know. One of my questions was, what is Christmas cake? Um, Christmas cake for us in the UK is just a really heavily fruited, rich cake that we generally cover with marzipan and then some kind of white icing. That's, I think that's the traditional Christmas cake. And it's delicious. <laughs> and yep, that's Christmas cake. And we generally eat it, well, we generally make it and put it on our Christmas tea table. But in our house, it never gets started until a few days after Christmas because the table is laden with other treats. So that's what Christmas cake is. Um, yes, I haven't done my mug shuffle yet either. Need to get on and do that, I'm very late. But maybe this weekend, or maybe early next week, I'll try and do my mug shuffle. Uh, another question was, how do I care for my hand knit socks? Um, so when I first make my socks, I generally just wash them in a basin of water with some wool wash soap. So I use this, which is Sheer Delight um, wool wash bar, and this is produced in the Lake District in the UK. So I use this, but you can use any wool wash. I've used Eco the Delicate Wash, um, Eucalan, can't remember the other one. And I just let them have a little soak for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then I spin them in the washing machine, just on the spin cycle. And I put them on my blockers to dry. But I only do this because I show them on my podcast. Every other time when I wash my socks, 
I generally wait till I have a bundle of them um, <clears throat> and maybe some woolly jumpers or something and then I just pop them in the washing machine on a wool wash on cold and just let them wash and spin and I just hang them in my airing cupboard to dry and that's it so easy okay I wanted to also chat about a couple of audiobooks that I have loved the first one is called Christmas at Liberties and I am just trying to go on audible to see who the author is so the first book I listened to was Christmas at Liberties by Fiona Ford and I loved it. I cannot recommend this book highly enough. It's not deep and meaningful but it's set in wartime um, and it's got some amazing strong women characters and it's set in Liberty and it's amazing. Anyway, I listened to this book and I loved it so much I even dreamt about it and so then I searched to see if Fiona Ford had any more books and she also had The Liberty Girls and then I listened to that one and it was magical I loved it so I highly recommend those two books and at the moment I'm listening to The Christmas Wish List and this I'm only part way through but it seems really really good so I'm loving this one they're just a bit kind of a bit fluffy and a bit romantic and a bit festive and uplifting and just lovely so I really recommend those three books I have something else to talk to you about but my battery camera no my battery light is flashing at me and when that happens it makes me go blah, 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 to get everything out and it's not nice for anybody <laughs> So I'm going to go away, I'm going to finish my coffee, I'm going to charge my battery and I'm going to come back in a little while. Battery now sufficiently charged. <laughs> so I wanted to pop back and show you one of my plans for next year. I have been making whoop, this um, Happy Patchwork blanket for a long time. And I would love to get it finished next year. If I don't, no big deal. But I was thinking, I was trying to work out last night how big I want it, but I found it really tricky. So what I'm going to do, this is how big it is at the moment. So not that big. Ooh. I hope you're seeing this okay so not that big but I'm going to work on getting the width right and I think once the width is how I want it because I don't think I want a massive blanket I think I want more of one I can cozy up on the sofa with so once I've got the width right I can then figure out how many more squares I need but it's going to be a while until I get the width as I want it but I worked out if I do four squares a week, and I think that's very doable. Uh, did I work out it was going to be 208 squares? Which I'm not sure will finish this beauty. Oh, it's so nice though. <laughs> but it will certainly get me on the right track to getting there. And who knows? I might be able to do more than four squares a week sometimes, but then there might be weeks where I do zero. But I'm, that is one of my goals next year, is to do four squares a week. I have sorted out my little, my bag. This is one of my favorite bags from my beautiful friend, Rhonda, who is Birdie Butterfly. And she gave me this bag when we met in Florida, and it was so fun. Okay, so in this bag, this is a very, very well reused bag. In this bag, I have all of the minis that were in this bag. And last night, I just sat down and I wound them all up. So I'm ready to go with those. And I have lots and lots of minis. And most of those minis are actually from Rhonda. We did a swap. So they are really precious and I'm excited to get them in my blanket. 
and so that's my plan but I do love this blanket and um, I've had a couple of questions about it yesterday and it's the mitered square blanket there's lots of different ways to make these squares and to lay them out um, but if you go on uh, my Ravelry project page for this it's called my happy patchwork blanket I think um, you'll see my recipe and um, I love it I love doing it but then I go off it sometimes you know you just you have to do it when you want to do it but I love all these colours and I'm really hoping by keeping it out I will be able to get quite a long way on it this year anyway that is what I wanted to show you mm -hmm.